welcome or welcome back to the channel today we're at Kalora Ranch and we're getting ready to go on the two hour ATV tour so I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys all the information you need to know and then we'll get right in to Kaloa Ranch and we're here about an hour early which is suggested by the company um, that gives you time to park, check in, use the bathroom and just kind of check out the grounds before you head on your tour. So we're gonna head on in and we'll see you guys out there. just got our tickets we're all checked in so right behind me right here is the restroom area a little tip before you head on your tour use the restroom because there are no restrooms along the way this is the little check-in center you're gonna go right over here he's gonna check you in, give you a wristband and then they're gonna send you to one of these picnic tables and after everyone is seated they're gonna go ahead and play a video go over safety regulations and then you'll go ahead and get your helmets right in this building here the drivers if you guys like drive uh, please get your license out. I'll make sure you guys are over 21 and have your driver's license. So they will be checking your IDs. Drivers have to be 21 and above and you get a little wristband that gives you the all clear to drive the vehicle. In order to ride you have to sign this liability release. Um, it's very common to a lot of other waivers basically. You break it you buy, right? <laughs> you break it you pay. And the next step is going to be to come in here and grab your helmet. There's a ton of different helmets. Okay. Got our helmets. Put that right over. Make sure it clips. That looks like a good fit. We're good? Right, Everyone's good. good, got their helmets. All right, we're gonna be going to table number three. They do assign your tables here, so just make sure you are all together as a group. If you did not bring your own glasses, they also provide goggles for you right here. So that is an option. All right guys, so one being Aloha. Aloha. Okay, it's all right. There you go. We'll do a little louder. Everybody, aloha! Aloha! Yeah, I like that brother. Yeah, Alright, so aloha. My name is Jerry. I'll be one of you guys' uh, tour guides. Uh, we also have Precious. Everybody say aloha, Precious! Aloha, Precious! <laughs> the Precious will be leading us out there to play one big game of follow the leader. That's the leader. Alright? Uh, I'll be in the back, um, safety guide today, so I'll be watching the line, making sure everybody's all right, following the rules. Drivers with the wristbands, raise your guys' hand. So you guys are responsible for you and everybody in your vehicle, all right? So very important. Also, you guys are responsible for any damages to the vehicle if you are driving recklessly, all right? So no drifting, you know, okay? <laughs> Who watched Fast and the Furious? <laughs> That's one of the movies that was not filmed over here. <laughs> we don't like Vin Diesel's over here, right? So relax, we're gonna have a good time, but we're gonna be what? Safe. 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 Oh, you guys off the of mic. You guys smart. Good job. We just changed the route uh, last week, so we do go up side of the mountain. So it's really nice, really beautiful, but adds a little more hills in there. So gas it all the way through to the top. Make sure there's room behind you guys for all the other fellow passengers on this tour. Coming down the hill, you guys see this gravel, it's all loose. Please pump your brakes, all right, as you go down. You don't want to be going too fast. Slam the brakes, you will slide, all right? You won't stop like you do on pavement. If you slide, we don't want anybody. <laughs> <laughs> nah, just kidding, all right? So, this is our rides right here. We do have to give, give them like one minute so they can get down, wipe down the uh, rapids real quick. But then once they're done, you guys ready to go? So do you feel that you're qualified to drive this vehicle? I'm more than qualified. <laughs> Professional. Last time I went a little bit too fast. We got close to some branches. <laughs> we, we got really close, so he'll probably drive the whole way. Ready to ride, guys? Ready. All right. They're opening up the gates.
but welcome to the valley. Uh, this is Ka'a'aba. This is the largest land division on the property. Uh, the whole ranch is about 4,000 total acres, broken up into three land divisions, from the mountain to the ocean. So the first one is Kualoa. That's where we started. Checked in, all the helmets, everything. Uh, about 622 acres, then we crossed over. Anybody notice that Ahupua, the pig altar that was up there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that big bunker. So that bunker is a World War II bunker. Same with those pill boxes that we passed. That's all from the uh, war. For those of you who didn't know, um, Kaneohe Bay Marine Corps Base, the air station. That was the first thing attacked uh, about 10 minutes before the harbor was hit. So that's why they kind of made this bunker in response in case there was another attack. They'd be more protected over here. But right across of that bunker was that pig head. That's a boundary marker, a pig altar that separates the land division. So that's the technically the, the line excuse me, between Kualoa and Ka'a'awa. So you guys now cross over into the valley. This valley is about 2,200 acres. And then you got Hakipu'u, which is where we're going towards the end of the tour. The roughly like 1,100 acres. This mountain is called Kualoa. Everybody say Kualoa. Kualoa. Means long back. You got the far one in the back over there. Pu'u o hule hule. That means clashing of two waves. You can see it hitting together forming that peak and then this side you have Ku'u Mana Mana Ku'u Mana Mana Ku'u Mana Mana Alright, that means uh, imprint in her hand that imprint of the hand so kind of see the mountain coming over you guys see it? you guys see it? Yeah. I don't see it but <laughs> nah, nah, just kidding but go ahead break off get some pictures if you want precious eye to take pictures okay. anybody else want a photo? All right, we just finished our first stop and we're going to get back in. Got a new passenger here. Go ahead and hop on in, buddy. With every stop we've been making, the instructors have been giving us a little story time and telling us about the land, the history, and it's really cool to know about because it's all new information to me and on the last time we did this tour, it was not that educational, so this is definitely something to consider if you're coming here. It is very educational and you do make quite a few stops. You guys like the stories? Yeah! yeah. Story time with Baby J. All right guys, so this mountain right here behind you guys, when we talked about pool all right? Now the ridge line, the name of that uh, ridge line is called Mo'okapu o Haloa. So Haloa, so means sacred area of Haloa. Who is Haloa? Haloa is the first Hawaiian human, right? So this is the Hawaiian's creation story, which I believe started right there, right? The first footsteps of man, right down that ridge line. So you have Wakeo, who is sky father. You have Papa, or Papa Hanao Moku, who is earth mother. Those two were credited with the creation of the Hawaiian Islands. They later have a daughter named Ho'ohoku Kalani. Ho'okalani means the making of the stars in heaven. Later on, she gets pregnant. Uh, she's blessed with two pregnancies, actually. The first one, um, unfortunately, was a stillborn. But she named him Haloa Nakalao Kapalili. We'll skip that one. <laughs> but that means the one that trembles in the wind. Later on, she had a second son named Haloa, who ended up being a strong, healthy boy. Now, the first son, when she buried him, it was said to have buried him on that ridge line. And when she wept over this loss, her tears watering the grave out sprouted the very first kalo plant. Anybody know what kalo is? Anybody with English is taro. Learn a taro, koi, maybe try poi, a luau or something. Mm -hmm. 
but that was the first place of uh, basically staple food of the Hawaiian Islands, sustainable food. So the older brother became the color plant, the younger brother, human, right? So that was a symbol of basically not only between the plant and man, but also between man and nature, right? The land, everything is considered as your kupuna or older sibling. You treat it like family, right? And in turn, it'll take care of you. That's one story I wanted to share with you guys. It was the Papa and Wakea story. Basically right there on that ridge line, guys. Mo kapu o haloa. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. All right, you guys, we're in the middle of the ATV tours and it's super cool. They're giving us a lot of fun facts about the island, a lot of history. It's really interesting. Uh, it is slower than last time and I don't know if it's a bigger group. What do you think it's a bigger group? I don't know. I think maybe they slowed it down because it's definitely not as thrilling because the last time we went, we were going fast. Yes. Like we were flying through here, but it's pretty cool to slow down and take it all in. <laughs> Good. By the way guys, if you're finding any value in this video, be sure to smash that like button. Make sure you subscribe with your notification bell turned on and let's go ahead and continue on this right. tour. Yeah. Thanks you guys. <laughs> destination I want to just tell you a little mo'olelo or another one that is well known on this side of the mountain also on this side of Oahu everyone look at that beautiful island out there anybody know the name or the nickname Chinaman yeah I would say everyone say Chinaman's hat Chinaman's China China hat now never say it again because we're living in 2022 and they're gonna cancel you for that <laughs> but I'm actually yeah I know I was gonna say the reason they nicknamed it that was because of our the early 1900s we had something called the plantation days where people from all over the world immigrants from all over uh, came to Oahu to work our sugar plantation. So the, I was gonna say people of Chinese descent wore these hats that kind of look like the one Jaren's wearing. We call them papales in Hawaiian. Um, but because they're straw hats, they started making uh, little stories about the island and that there's a man of Chinese descent that lives underneath it and fun stuff like that. A plantation worker that lives under it and stuff like that. So that's just I was like, that's just historically, but due to the fact that, you know, people are really easily offended nowadays, we just want to go back to the native name of it. Everyone say Mokoli'i. Mokoli'i. What was that? Mokoli'i. Mokoli'i. Mokoli yeah, so Mokoli'i actually, there's a legend behind that name. Mokoli'i means little lizard in Hawaiian, it translates. And there was actually a giant lizard who resided here on this side of Oahu named Mokoli'i. And so his main job was to preserve the aina or the land. And then also too, I would say he was to protect the reef, the Kanyoi reef, which is all out here. If you guys look at the dark shades of the ocean. So what happened is, is that our beautiful goddess Pele, anybody know who Pele is? Like anybody heard stories about it? Not the soccer player guys, but um, <laughs> yeah, I say we have a beautiful Hawaiian goddess. Her name is Pele, her and her family reside on the big island. And what happened was that she fell in love with a chief that lived on Kauai. And so she asked her favorite sister, Hi'iaka, to go fetch him for her, the legend says. And what happens is if you go that way, you'll find the island of Maui on a clear day in between those two islands over there. And then past Maui is the island of Hawaii. And so this way, if you were to travel this way, you'd end up in Kauai. So she had to pass this way to get there. And so she ended up washing on Kualoa shores to take a quick break from her travel from the island of Hawaii. And she ran into the giant mo'o or the giant lizard. And so anyway, Mokoli'i ran into her not knowing she was a goddess and told her she couldn't stay. 
So of course they ended up bickering and she was like, bro, bite me. So that's exactly what they did. So they fought for three days, the legend says, and on the third day she went behind him, she yanked on his tail. Anybody knows what happens to a lizard? You got their tail? It falls off. Yeah, it mm -hmm. falls off. So the legend says that she yanked on the tail, it fell off and she whipped it into the ocean and that the tip of the tail still resides over the water. They say that that's why they nicknamed it Mokoli'i or they named it Mokoli'i after the lizard. However, if you look behind this beautiful mountain behind you, it's still Kualoa, which translates to long back, as Jaren said earlier. And this beautiful mountain, they say, is Mokoli'i's body that she put him to sleep exactly where he stood. If anybody has seen Moana, yeah, anybody? Yeah, yeah so when Tefiti turns into a mountain when she goes to sleep, they say the same thing more or less happened to Mokoli'i. And so, yeah, it looks just like a long back mountain if you just look at it. But on the right hand side over there is a beautiful little cave. They say that that's his eye. You travel all the way around his long back. And on the far left, the mountain doesn't complete, it comes straight down. They say that that's where the tail was ripped off and thrown into the ocean. This is our last destination. If you guys need any help, we're going to cut you guys loose. Go ahead and explore a little bit. Just be careful, okay? Because we are on a ridge. So just don't fall over. Or tour you have a wash station where you can wash your hands your face because you will have a lot of dirt on it this is the damage last time i did this i had a uni brow mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's way worse it's way worse check uh, out my uni brow i'm very beautiful let me get up close let me see that mm. <laughs> so yeah there are no paper towels right here so i don't feel like wipe washing my face um i have wipes in the car so i'll just do that but that is why we say bring glasses or get their goggles and bring a face mask or a bandana because imagine what the rest of this would have looked like without it. So I'm gonna cover back up and we're gonna walk to the car. All right. <laughs> All of them coming out doing the tour, ATVs. Everybody had a good time? Yeah. That's right. If you guys had a great time, we do have a survey. If you see my yellow bucket, there's a QR code. If you liked your tour, please remember Precious. Jared, if you did it, uh, we're in Polo and Maddie. We're going Maddie. <laughs> but uh, nah, well, all jokes aside, mahalo guys. You guys are a great tour, good driving. I was kind of, you know, getting a little bored back there. Yeah, it's not, it's not fair, so. Mahalo nilo, guys. Your helmet's strong on top of the table. We're going fast. You're going inside the yellow bucket. Mahalo, guys. Aloha. Thank you. Guys. So that is gonna wrap up our day here at Kaloa Ranch. I hope you guys enjoyed this two hour ATV Raptor tour. I'll go ahead and leave all the information for you guys in the description box of this video. And do you guys, rec do, you, do you recommend doing this? Oh yeah, I definitely yeah. recommend it. It's really fun. It's like a fun activity to do just on a nice like hot day. Yeah, yeah, we did the 3 p.m. tour, but they start as early as I think eight or nine. So just depending on what your schedule looks like, Go ahead and, you know, make reservations. Come on down. This is totally family friendly and I think worth it. This tour was a little different from the, the one we did last year um, back in April. Mm -hmm. um, we noticed that there was a lot of things that we saw back then that we didn't do this time. Yeah. So it always depends on your guide, I feel like. And, and the, the group. group. Yeah, our group was um, a little bit slower, I would say. That's why it was a tad slow. We went like max speed was 13 miles. 13 15 around 13 there. to 15 um and the last time was definitely like between the 25 ish mm -hmm. with lots of twists and turns so yeah something to consider but we're gonna wrap it up thank you so much for watching guys we'll see you on the next one yeah, bye, bye.